This is Twit. Uh, let's talk about, uh, as long as we're talking about Facebook, uh, Instagram. Uh, <laughs> Kevin Systrom and Mike Krieger, founders of Instagram, walking out the door at Facebook. Apparently, uh, not just walking. They slammed the door behind. Slammed them. the door yeah. because uh, they didn't like Mark Zuckerberg's interference uh, with their business. Now, there's a lot of takes on this. A lot of hot takes. Uh, ben Thompson and Stratechery, I thought, had a very good take in which he said, "You know what, Kevin? You were never CEO of Instagram. You were a product creator." Yeah. But to be a CEO, you have to have a business. You have to make a business out of it. And that's what Mark Zuckerberg does. That's what he did. And maybe Kevin didn't like that too much, but that's what you do. I suppose. But back to our prior conversation, Instagram already seems to be doing pretty well from an ad targeting standpoint. And I think the problem is that Zuckerberg wanted to take more of Facebook and apply it to Instagram, which right. those guys yeah. do not want. Interesting. That's, and, what, and that's what, what got recode with implying that in a piece where actually it was Kara doing, Swisher in an yeah, op-ed piece. Yeah. Uh, but this was weird. Oh, in the Times that she did in the New York did, Times. It was an op-ed piece, yeah. uh, and I thought it was a very good piece. But I just think it's kind of interesting um, to call that opinion. Uh, but yeah, she's basically well. Let me see if I can find it because she's talking from her experience with uh, both Mark Zuckerberg and uh, Kevin uh, Systrom, mm -hmm. and. Um, I'll read you some quotes because I thought it was a very good piece. You know, I work with both companies, you know, through my nonprofit Connect Safely. In fact, we just just recently uh, published a revised version of a parent's guide to Instagram, which you can find at connectsafely.org. I think it's still on the front cover. And the companies, at least in the groups that I work with, which is the, the trust and safety teams, are different. They have different sensitivities about privacy and trust and safety. They're trying to merge them. But uh, it, I think for... Facebook, it's like herding cats, trying to get the Instagram people to get lockstep with the with the Facebook people. Uh, and I don't know, maybe that will change over time. But it, it's been my experience, at least, that th there are differences in terms of how they manage that aspect, those aspects here's, of their companies. Here's what Kara says. And by the way, the title of her piece should get, tell you something. A wise man leaves Facebook. Ow. Ow. Kevin Systrom, a founder of Instagram, wasn't a team player. But Kara says that's exactly what Mark and Facebook needed. They needed somebody to speak truth to them. Mm -hmm. While it's good to be king, she writes, and Mr. Zuckerberg is that, controlling every aspect of the company from its many units to its board as controlling shareholder, it's not easy. Without the Instagram founders, it will be so much harder. Um, so it sounds more like the issue was that, and, and, and she says she got this from insiders at Facebook telling her this, Systrom was an irritant. Hmm. Um, yeah. She what? said when she had problems with Instagram, she texted Mar uh, Kevin Systrom and he responded to her. He listened. He didn't get angry. She said, that's the kind of thing you need a product guy like Systrom to be doing. Um, on the other hand, uh, she said, Zuckerberg, it would be nice if Systrom was still in the room to articulate that to powerful people like Mr. Zuckerberg. But now... Just like that, he's See, not. I, I don't buy the hot takes that they're out because they weren't businessmen. Instagram was making money. It had a revenue stream. It was growing. Sure. The difference is, and this is why it didn't mesh perfectly with Facebook, is for Instagram, for for him, his users were his customers. He was selling That's ads That's the problem. Yeah. And Facebook, if you're a user, you're not the customer. You're, you're the, the product. product. Correct. And those two cultures do not yeah. match well. Can it also be the possibility that his stock vested and he got it and he said, well, I'm I mean, yeah. It's, it's, he had <laughs> just gotten off of uh, maternity leave. The first day he comes back, he says, eh, by the way, bye. Well, I'm I sure that he didn't hurt. He's a normal person. It's that guy's money. He's going to go to have some fun. Well, and well, and well, what no, he, he said is probably file. true. He wants to go do new creative things. That's right. probably true. I mean, at the point that that business is right now, it's no longer really a natively creative pursuit. Right. It's now part of a business, and it's now about growing yeah. that business. We all know people who are startup people. They love sure, starting they love a company, it. maintaining sure. it, running it, eh, not so big into it. Kara says he should be the chief executive of Facebook. I disagree. I don't think so. I don't think Systrom's the right. I frankly think if you're going to be Facebook, the right guy to run it is Mark. Yeah, he, do, he doesn't. He probably I'd wouldn't agree. want yeah. to do that. Yeah, I don't know. Being a CEO Here's is probably like being the president. It's probably awful. The best quote from this New York Times piece, though, uh, is this and uh, uh, Swisher says she uh, <laughs> she had a talk with Kevin Systrom at a hopelessly hip coffee place in San Francisco where I was left with one thought uh, one thing he said seemed particularly wise so I asked him if I could put it on the record quote social media 
Now, think about this. It's a little hard to grok, but see if we can get this. Is in a pre-Newtonian moment. So before Newton, we knew gravity existed, but we didn't understand why it worked or how it worked. We all understand that social media works, says Sistrom, but not how it works. There are certain rules that govern it, and we have to make it our priority to understand the rules or we cannot control it. Do you think that's fair? I think that that's really broad. I just guess I don't really know what it means, how it works technically, how it works socially, how it works with human brains. I'll tell you, I'll tell you maybe what he's thinking is, of course, Mark Zuckerberg created Facebook to connect and everything like that. It was used against us during the election by the Russians, particularly to convince people either not to vote or, or to, you know, to stay at home mostly or to vote for somebody in particular. Uh, to me, that was the kind of come to Jesus moment where somebody figured out how to use social media, of, pardon me for saying come to Jesus, in a very powerful way. And uh, they understood it, but, but Zuckerberg did not. And it took Facebook off guard. It's like, what? And in fact, at first they denied it even happened. Finally, they've, you know, of yeah. late basically admitted, well, yeah, that's what happened. I think part of the problem for consumers is that most of us don't know how it works, right? We know that there are algorithms. But do you think Zuck does is the question? I, I, that's what I'm saying. I would assume Zuck does, but maybe he doesn't fully understand it. That would be an interesting question because That's basically what right? Systrom's saying. Yeah. We're in a pre-Newtonian moment. We understand how to pull the levers maybe, right? Well, the, but we don't understand why it works. It's look, that's a it's a great thought, and it's actually really good insight into the mind of a startup person. However, that last part of otherwise we can't can control it. You're not going to control it. That's the thing about social media. It is such a huge zeitgeist now with so many different systems of algorithms that compete with one another. But that that's a huge problem because it's, it's like saying, yeah, we invented a nuclear bomb. We don't know how to control it, but we got it. Well, yeah, that's the, scary. The it is scary. That, and maybe this is oversimplifying it, but the thing that really kind of strikes me about this whole conversation is that what social media is is just humans acting like humans. Right. And maybe we just need to step back and be like, okay, Humans have problems. They sometimes are good and sometimes they're bad. And right. we have to be thinking about the bad impulses along with the good ones because and, we and know that, that people will use it for bad things.